Hello, I'm Steve Geary. I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons with Stebbin Hawkins Clinic of the Carolinas. Today we're going to talk about anterior cruciate ligament injuries of the knee. The ACL, or the anterior cruciate ligament, is one of the major stabilizing ligaments in the knee. Unfortunately, it's one of the most commonly injured in sports and heavy mechanical activity as far as injuries we see in the knee. The ACL connects the thigh bone, or the femur, to the tibia, the lower leg bone. For normal knee function, we're dependent on it for any kind of cutting, pivoting, rotational activities, including sports, as well as high demand mechanical activity. The ACL is most commonly injured during a twisting force to the knee. It is common in sports such as football, soccer, basketball, volleyball, and skiing. There is often an associated pop and the feeling of something giving away. Most people cannot continue activity. There's usually subsequent swelling, stiffness, and difficulty walking normally. Injuries occur with contact such as tackle or with no contact such as cutting. The latter is more frequent in females. Frequently there are associated injuries including other ligaments, meniscus injury, bone bruises, and sometimes cartilage injury. Initially the knee is treated with ice, elevation, and compression. Crutches and pain medication are often needed for a few days. Physical therapy can help reduce swelling and restore motion. A diagnosis is usually made by history and clinical exam. An x-ray is obtained to assess for any fracture. An MRI is often considered if findings are inconclusive. An MRI reveals other injuries to the knee such as meniscus tears, ligament or cartilage damage, and occult fractures. Without a function in ACL, most people will have recurrent giving away events with attempts to return to sports or physically demanding activities. The unstable knee is at risk for meniscus tears, further stretching out of the structures, cartilage damage, and arthritis. Some develop giving away of the knee with ordinary daily activities. The torn ligament does not heal itself. Surgery is recommended for people that are active, whose knee gives out, and for occupations requiring a secured knee, such as policemen, firemen, industrial, or construction work. Surgery is usually performed after the knee has calmed down. ACL sur surgery is usually an outpatient procedure that takes an hour to an hour and a half. The ligament is reconstructed using tissue around the knee. Both hamstring tendons and the patella tendon are frequently used for this. These are obtained through a small incision. A cadaver graft can also be used. The rest of the surgery is performed arthroscopically through a scope. Holes are drilled in the tibia and femur and the graft tissue is then secured in place to heal to the bone. Injuries to the meniscus cartilage surface and other ligaments are treated at the same time. After surgery, most patients are in a brace using pain medication and an ice machine. Most patients require crutches for about a week but are encouraged to put full weight on the leg as the ACL graft is strong enough to tolerate it. Patients are working with the physical therapist in the first few days. Once the wound is covered with a clear dressing, you may shower. At 10 to 14 days after surgery, you are checked in the office. Time off from school or work is variable depending on the situation. This could be a few days to two to three months for an industrial environment. The rehab is a crucial component of the treatment for optimal outcome. Initially, this involves improving motion, reducing swelling, and restoring normal walking. This progresses to endurance strengthening, such as an exercise bike riding. Jogging or stride can begin by three months. Full sports are usually allowed by five to six months, depending on progress in therapy, including strength, balance, and training. Endurance strength and reaction time are key to preventing re-injury. The rehab after ACL surgery is a crucial component of the, of the treatment. I tell most patients that it's a 50-50 experience where 50% of it is the surgery and 50% of it is the rehab. 
Therefore, it obviously involves motivation and compliance on the part of the patient for optimal outcomes, working closely with their treating surgeon and their physical therapist. Fortunately, today, we can predictably restore stability of the knee after ACL injury. Please discuss any of the specific aspects of the surgery with your treating physician. Thank you for watching this video and best wishes.